On this Tuesday morning right here on the Alfred Show. Wake up, wake up, wake up now. Whatever it is that you are, or you're driving to work, or you're at work already, guys. We are your companion uh, from now to 10 a.m. So don't even think of going anywhere, guys. All right? Quickly, quickly, quickly. Uh, this Tuesday, and um, it's helping you. Yes, it's all about you right now. Uh, we have uh, Mr. Olario Wadju right here in the building with us. It's a wonderful morning. Good morning. How you doing? Good morning. I'm good. And you? I'm very well. Thank you, man. Very well. Thank you. So today's a great day, and I'm going to be talking about um oral, uh, health. Uh, uh, oral health today right well yeah. today right i guess yes yes, yes. okay so uh, what, what were we talking about today? Uh, yesterday we celebrated both our day in march 28th uh okay. and it's a it's a global thing for everybody it's a global thing for the dental family because they we, we try as much as possible to shine the spotlight on the uh, dental and the burden of or, or the, the, the burden that dental health issues have caused in the uh, in the global settings and uh, i uh, what Dental Federation uh, yeah. has, uh, has come out and tell us, told us that okay, uh, uh, dental issue affect uh, 3.5 billion people in global. Wow. Oh, wow. Yes, that's, that's a lot, the, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> and we have about 7.5 7 billion, 7 billion in the. In the, whole, world. in the whole world so uh, it's a big issue that it's very very uh, essential for us to shine the spotlight on and also to uh, talk about it very well uh, uh, at this moment okay. because uh, um, i will remember we started a campaign uh, in 2001 uh be mouth proud Okay. Yes. Proud. Be, be proud of your mouth, rather. Yes. <laughs> then when I open your mouth, and people will run away. You get. So in in twenty twenty one, we focused on the uh, the fact that okay, the fundamental health, the fundamental importance of oral health to overall health. Yeah. Get. And twenty twenty two, we focused on oral, how oral health is in needed for happiness and well being. Now this okay. year, we are focusing on look after your oral health for a lifetime of smiles. And you agree with me on this on this thing that okay, it's 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 a good topic and it affects everybody because if you don't have a good aura health or don't have a good uh, overall health, you can't smile because our, our aura health is very essential in a in, in form of communication. We yeah. use it in com communication with our neighbors, kissing, talking, eating, and like you understand. And it's very it's a very important aspect of our general health because it's the gateway to our body, mm -hmm. and people don't uh, imbibe in the act of taking care of their oral health and that's why we are shining and spotting the spotlight on uh, the oral, oral health. health yeah. Yes, uh, uh, you agree with me that uh, uh, be, it, it's a collaborative thing that we can we should all imbibe in. Now the media personnel, the health personnel, the uh, the school authorities, the government also they have the issue, a role to play in this uh, issue of oral health in, okay. in, in body and we as the health personnel we are educating people about the importance of oral health to their general health because it's a vital thing part of their health and it's, yeah. it's very necessary for them to take it care of it and one of those things or part of those things that you need to do uh, in taking care of your oral health is at least twice in a year visit the dental clinic we can't okay. overemphasize that yeah. you twice need to in a year. yes twice in a year which is every six months we can't overemphasize that Number two is that uh, practicing good oral hygiene. Now, what are those things that you, you need to do to practice good oral hygiene? Eating healthy, brushing twice okay. daily. Those are things that are very, very important to maintain a good, proper and oral health. So okay. those are the things we, 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 we talked about you know, that everybody is needed to, com to have a complete oral health. Okay. And the media people, so you can help us pass that message across to everybody. And okay. So when we're talking about um, eating hygienic food, like um, eating um, good stuff, you know, definitely. Um, we should, we're talking about reducing junk food, reducing, reducing your intake, food, yes, right? Tobacco, limiting oh, the smoking too affect oral. Definitely, it affects the oral. What the other one? The, that they call loud. Others. Everything <laughs> that smokes that pertains to smoking affects the oral health. Drinking also it affects. Oh, the oral drinking health. too. Yes, accordingly. Ah, so yes. we won't vote all those things. <laughs> Definitely. Ah, yeah. uh, a part of the issue that all those uh, stuff brings about is mouth odor. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, true that, Definitely. True yes. Mm. Now, let's talk about people that smoke. You know, now this, these are people that have to use hard brush. Mm. Hard brush. What, smoke what, acid brush. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. What are the effects of using uh, hard brush consistently over time? Are there any consequences? Mm. Or that is what is required if you're a smoker? Definitely, yeah, there are consequences, consequences for yeah. using hard to brush regularly. And I, 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 I talked about it yeah, often. Why will you be even be using a toothbrush? Are you trying to brush or wash the gutter or 
<laughs> because I I don't I really don't get the idea behind you using a toothbrush because a toothbrush is not meant for anybody. Now an adult uh, are meant to use medium texture toothbrush. Now why is it that it's we are meant to use medium texture toothbrush? Because it's it's not too hard and it's not too soft. Mm -hmm. It's it's in, it's it's way, a way of uh, it adapts to your tissues in your mouth we have soft tissues in the mouth and yeah. when you are using a toothbrush you are brushing and the way they even brush it not they are not brushing ideally they are brushing over vigorously because they want to remove the jeans. <laughs> yeah. so when you are using a toothbrush to brush you yeah. are bearing it with the gum tissues it, yeah. that can we'll injure your, yes that can cause injury to the tissues of the oral health mm. Now, let's talk about uh, some gum disease because I want to believe it's also part of oral health. Too. Definitely. Now, what what are the issues? What, what are the uh, issues that we have with gum disease? Because some some so, some of us can wake up sometimes and this left, left maybe the right part of our gum mm. is just it just feels hurt. I know it, there's hurt. It's hurting and you know there are some days where you just feel like your teeth is too sensitive. Mm. What, what are the things that bring about or likely causes of uh, the issues that 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 may likely cause these things most of the time? Now. Talking about gum disease, uh, uh, they are of two types. We have the uh, generally we have better, no, gum disease. Uh, we have of two types: gingivitis and periodontitis. Yeah. Now, anything that has to do with titis has to do with inflammation. Mm -hmm. Now, probably there's an infection around the gum or the teeth. That's when you have the gum disease that uh, it becomes inflamed. That's when you have gingivitis or the periodontitis. Now, the advanced stage of gingivitis is periodontitis. Now, the for, this the onset of gum gum disease is gingivitis because then you feel inflammation and wherever you are eating or you are brushing you see blood coming out of your mouth yeah you understand so that is a, an indication for you for that person to go to the dental clinic visit the dental clinic let them do a pro, uh, a, a thorough cleaning of the aura uh, because it might be as a result of an irritant around that gum that is causing that bleeding and it's causing the flame gum to be inflamed and affected mm, so I it's remember. it's necessary for them to visit the dental clinic and get yeah. it cleaned up okay one time i don't oh. Years ago, you know, anytime I brush, I always see blood and all of that. So yeah. I, I told myself, okay, I think chill first. I, I changed my toothbrush, <laughs> mm -hmm. reduce my reduce some food I eat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now I changed my toothpaste too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I spoke to someone, so someone told me to use a particular toothpaste. <laughs> I'm not talking about they they didn't give me more promo. <laughs> no, so I, I think and it stopped. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, you know. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, people should should be aware. Lots of people just take all these things like normal, like, uh, uh, and mm -hmm. they just move on. Yes. And you know, once there's an opening in your teeth, you know, it's it, bacteria can you get, get in there. That's definitely. You know, once and uh, once bacteria gets in there, you know, it can cause lots of um, irritation. Mm -hmm. And uh, before you know it, you're having issues with your gum definitely. and all of that and all of that. Now, let's talk about this. I just remember this one. You know, yeah. there are some people that grew up with, like. Extra teeth behind. Okay. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. But, but like, why do you have to go here? <laughs> like, what are the causes? Because it just seems to me. Okay, the, the, the thing is because I, we, I, I've heard about uh, several, you know, uh, uh, what, what do you call these things? Uh, superstitions around it. Yeah, like, you remember, boys. So you have no. Oh, please don't start. Don't start. <laughs> don't start. Please. They, they, they say uh, if you use knife to eat, for example, we start growing extra. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, those 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 things we heard a lot of them while, while we were growing up. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was there was this particular one too. They were said you don't eat on, at the entrance of the house before you are while we are at the entrance of the house. You don't eat at the entrance. Of the house. Yeah, what we <laughs> Probably they said thunder will fire them or something. But the reality is, uh, using a uh, knife to eat it's yeah. a form of. Uh, 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 advice for people not to get injured while they're yeah, using actually, that to yeah. eat. Somebody might just be coming un unknowingly that you are using yeah, knife to eat and just hit you. Definitely, and that's that. I think that's a precaution uh, to yeah, that yeah. aspect. Yeah. Now, why, they just, why don't they just come out straight instead of capping? <laughs> you know, cap. you know our does now. You know, our they want yeah, to want cap. to cap and you they know make, make you scare, look. make it scary to you, and be like so. Well, no, it didn't work. <laughs> it did work. Yes, it's it's capping to you. It's, it's, work. It's, 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 it's really work really, because okay. we were very careful about those things then we we don't want to do uh, <laughs> that kind of thing then. now talking about the issue of growing extra tooth yeah. now did, uh, normally did, uh, some people might have overcrowding in their mouth it's called overcrowding yes wow. uh excess teeth in the mouth now ideally and as a child 
when you get to a certain age, your tooth should start shedding off, which is yeah. the primary tooth. Yeah, the, the now, tooth yes, out, yeah. in some instances, there when the primary teeth growing, the, the um, primary teeth didn't shed off, so they grow side by side. They are there. there. Now, the advisable thing for that person to do is go to, go to the dental clinic, let them remove the primary teeth, you get me, and that place will be okay. Now, another disadvantage to that is that if the person leaves the primary teeth there, definitely it can cause food loading around that area mm. you get so and that can cause another issue for that person so it's very aggressive for that person to go to the dental clinic let them remove that tooth and the person will be all right all right one more question you know since it's more dental day and um you know um trying to make the world smile when you smile and all of that people mm. appreciate you what what would you advise people you know they, they call it i've forgotten the term they use uh what uh, people who their teeth are not arranged, you know. Yes, misaligned teeth. Uh, what do you call it? Misaligned teeth. Misaligned, yeah, misaligned, yeah. Mm. Uh, but it's true to call it scatter scatter teeth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, and um, lots of people have been advised to wear braces, you know, and all of that and all of that. So, um, do you do you advise people to do that? Definitely, it's advisable for people to do that if well, they are I, if I, their teeth are not properly right? aligned. No, it's not painful. It's not painful. It's not painful. It's mm. just a kind of treatment to rearrange the uh, teeth back to normal shape. Oh. Yes. And also, what he asked uh, earlier, it could be as a result of that also because you are having one to tear, another one yeah, there, and do you understand me? So, and it's not aligning properly, so it's yeah. necessary for them to correct that uh, deficiency so that mm. the person can have a, 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 a aligned tooth. All right, man. Mm. Okay, any more questions? No, no I, I think I've heard enough <laughs> for the day. <laughs> So the truth of the matter is, World Dental Day, we're celebrating our, our teeth today, so make sure you make your teeth happy, uh, take care of your teeth, not eating anyhow, you know. Reduce. And to cut that, I released, I launched a book yesterday. Oh, uh, <laughs> for real? Yes. Ah, uh, it's uh, in Uba the revision. Who wants to start with this? To launch the uh, World Right Day, to manage the World Right Day. Uh, okay. And it's on seller, if anybody wants to learn. It, the title of the book is Beyond Brushing and Flossing, Why Nutrition is is key to dental health. Beautiful. Mm, Beautiful. Nice. I like, I like that. Thank, thank you very much for doing that. It makes yes. sense. It makes sense. You know, for everybody out there. So you could go you could go um read the book or you could curve the book, you know. So um make sure you have everything intact. You know, it's all about your dental health and your oral health. Because there are lots of people that when even when they talk, you want to run away from them. <laughs> their mouth it was on your so make sure your mouth doesn't it was on your <laughs> make sure you change change your 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 your, your toothbrush. Yeah, uh, your toothpaste. Use a good toothpaste. Definitely. What would you What would you say to people who use salt to brush their teeth? It's not advisable. It's not something to eat. Yeah, though we do practice it too when we are growing up. There. Yeah, and my toothpaste don't finish. Yes. <laughs> yes, you don't press. Where we you don't press. You don't where use where knife. Open them. now. Definitely. You don't check. Check. Not that. I cool. Who just use salt? But that doesn't substitute for toothbrushing. Mm. Okay. Okay. Don't correct toothpaste and okay. uh, the toothbrush. All right. So it, it really needs to stop, right? Definitely. Yeah. I so was going to ask you something last week, but we did not. This charcoal thing we call for teeth, <laughs> say for whitening of teeth. Alpha. Yes, yes, charcoal for whitening. Sharp, sharp. Now, there has been some uh, over, uh, OTP over the product, uh, over the counter products. Yeah. That are available for, to people to do for uh, teeth whitening, of which charcoal, uh, charcoal um, is a part of them, and uh, it, uh, it's, it's kind of a mixture of uh, some the chemical properties or something to break whitening the teeth. Now, some people engage in that act of using it to whiten their teeth. Uh, it works on for people and I don't, it might not work some, for some people. Okay. Some people might need to go to the dental clinic to have a professional teeth whitening if they want to. And also, uh, uh, using the doing using the over-counter product to do it yourself, uh, yeah. it comes at a disadvantage mm -hmm. because at times you might overdo it and mm. it could cause sensitivity for that person. So it's advisable for anybody that wants to do a cosmetic treatment on their teeth to go to the dental clinic. Go to the dental clinic. Yes. No, no need to carry out yourself. Definitely. Because I've seen people just grind charcoal, put yes. one of things together, put that brush. Is, that's even more dangerous because those ones, you, there is no, it's not refined because mm. all this over the counter oh, product, they are refined. They, are refined, they have some yeah. chemical, some the materials. One. Yes, they have some, some materials that they have put in it for it to some kind form of abrasive on whitening yeah. of teeth. So. It's not advisable for anybody to just uh, do their own charcoal whitening at home. Okay, man. All right. Thank you so much. Thank man. you very much. Uh, that, that was quite insightful. Very, yes. very insightful. All right, so um, congratulations on you launching your book. More books to come. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, I wish you all the very best, man. So Thank you. Next week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the four never ceases.